Hey, what's going on, guys? Jackie here again. Welcome to another Open Jetbox review. And today, in front of us is SDW Heroes Benjamin V2 Gundam. So it's a V2 Gundam based on Pirate Team, and the character itself is Benjamin. And this is the fourth series from the SDW Heroes. And this is Benjamin. All right, without wasting time, let's take a look at the model itself. So this is Benjamin V2 Gundam from the Pirate World. So let's take a close up. This is a front wheel, side wheel, back wheel. Yep. So uh, since it's a pirate theme, and I, I think they really knew it in terms of design. It looks very pirate-ish, especially the hat. I, I like how they modify the whole Gundam head and turn it into a hat, but still maintain it as like there's still a Gundam. Uh, look on it, so it's really good. But uh, in terms of design in anime, it looks great. But when you translate it to model kit, even though it's alright, but all the color separation is not really good unless you plan to paint it. Especially, let's see, all these uh, gold color lining. All this gold kind of lining on the skirt, on this uh, cape, I think, and on the hand glove there wasn't shown in the model kits, and not even sticker is given. So, if you really want this look nice, you really have to paint it. And not to mention, the <laughs> gold color is the usual Bandai gold that I usually call it shit gold. Alright, let's take a look at the articulation. As for the head, you can rotate it with no problem. Uh, can look down but look up not really because blocked by the helmet here this part hand can rotate until here before it get blocked by the this knife but if you remove it I believe you can rotate it more all right yep you can rotate more if you take out the knife and as usual there is no elbow joint unlike the Nobunaga this is like the standard SD Basically the hand and the leg most likely is very standardized It's more or less the same mold, same kind of uh, joint and design So the wrist can rotate As for the body, it's the same as well Can tilt a bit And tilt back a little bit Can rotate the waist there And for the leg, uh, I, I felt that uh, Benjamin has a very serious leg issue <laughs> So, uh, okay, let's take a look at this uh, My This part is quite loose But uh, the skirt can rotate a bit But it pops up if you go too much And my side, this one is looser than this side As for the leg You can tilt the toe a little bit Just a little bit But you can't raise your leg because Blocked by this both skirt, but if you pops up the leg, it's basically like those usual uh, standard SD kind of leg. There's a knee joint, but you can use it on these uh, kids because it's being blocked by this uh, huge skirt. So basically, the legs are handicapped, useless, but it's still there for the sake of being there. Uh, as as for the back, there's a backpack here, can open. And yeah, just pretend it's like a booster or something. It's a uh, pretty much standard uh, SD kits uh, articulation. There's no uh, any breakthrough. All right, done with the articulation. Let's take a look at the accessories. So it came with uh, one sword. I think this sword is called Hair Tail. And there are two gun, Kili Kili fish, <laughs> and this uh, giant anchor. One of his uh, ultimate finisher move together with this uh, like fire eye kind of thing and one extra hand oops this hand is slightly tilted so for more dynamic pose when using the sword and beside that uh, this small knife I don't know what it call it actually can be used as a weapon as well small dagger let me focus yep alright if you don't need, you can pop back to the shoulder And as for the knife, the sword You can take it out And as usual, it's not color accurate, just 
one piece of uh, white color sword can let it to hold and this thing can pop it at the side skirt here oops and there you go and as for the gun since there's two but uh, you have to check the direction because this part is hollow and there's you know she both sides also hollow ah such a terrible gun design <laughs> and this is how it looks like when you're holding a gun and two gun a pirate should have a gun isn't it and this could pop out again all right for the final thing i want to show is the his ultimate move using the giant and crawl and this uh i think so let's put up the accessories i pop the head first so there's a hole here and there's a pack here so just plug on it and there you go looks pretty good remind me of uh, the nobunaga effect and finally the giant and crow i'm gonna pop up this hand and this giant and crow actually can split into two So there's one handle here, just let this hand hold it. Just like that. And then just cover it back. And pops in back to this hand. And there you go, giant anchor. Benjamin with the giant anchor. Uh, I'm not sure how effective this move but from the anime it looks damn OP. Uh, overall, I think it looks okay. It's very standard, the usual uh, SD Gundam price quality kits. But the parts that I'm not really happy is the both sides skirt here is very very loose, easy to pops out. And I think mine is defected as well. This hand a little bit too loose compared to this hand. But nevertheless, uh, yeah, what you pay, what you get for, and this SD still worth to collect if you are fans of the anime. I myself has already become a fan because I start watching it and has been catching up on it. It's really, really great and I plan to collect uh, almost every one of it I guess. And the one I'm really looking forward is the King Arthur, the Gundam Mark III. Alright, that's all my review for today. See you guys next time. Bye bye.